In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create 3D text inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So when you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we can begin by creating some text. So we'll go to the horizontal type tool, type out a word or phrase of your choice. Then we'll go to the character window and we'll change the font. We'll change the weight of this. We'll do what we want with this, but that's pretty much all you need to worry about for now. Now, as you can see, this is very pixelated. So I'm just going to change my quality to full. Now from here, we want to select the text. We'll select this drop down arrow here and then we'll go in to geometry options, but you'll see it is grayed out. We want to select change renderer and we want to change the renderer from classic to cinema 4D and press OK. This means we can now extrude this, which basically means we can make this 3D. So if we go to extrusion depth, you can see we're actually increasing the size of it going backwards. So if we go over here and we go to two views, we'll change this one to top. So make sure this is top and you can see by adjusting the extrusion depth, you can see by looking down, you can see we're actually getting this really big chunky text, but I'm not going to extrude it that far. I'm going to keep it somewhere around here. Now, in order to work with this 3D text, we need to add a camera in. So we're going to go to layer, new camera, and there's loads of different settings here you can do, but I'm just going to keep it as the basic settings. And now inside of camera, you can go into transform. You can also go into camera options as well, just to adjust cool things like zoom, depth of field, focus, distance, blur level, all of that fun stuff. But in transform is where you can move the position. So we can move the position left or right. We can move it up or down. We can do all of these different options. We can also add some rotation. There's loads of really cool things that we can do, but essentially we could just move and create some animations using the camera here. But I'm just going to go into the actual text layer itself. I'm going to go into transform. We'll go into Y rotation and we'll just rotate that around a little bit. And you can see clearly from the sides that this is now 3D text. But at the moment, it's just a big blob of white. We're not getting any definition. We're not seeing any shadows. And that is because we don't have any lights in the scene. So we can now go into layer, new light. And if you go into light type, you can see you've got parallel spot point and ambient. But I'm just going to go for point for now. And you can change the color of this. Now, if we had something white in this scene and we had a blue light and the blue light was on the white, it would all of a sudden turn blue. So it's kind of a similar process here. So if we go for a blue light, press OK, that is going to cast a blue light onto our text. And now if we go into that light, so transform, we can move the position of this light so we can move this left or right. We can move this up or down. And of course, we can send this forward or back. So if we go back to two views and we go to a top down view, you can see this is the front of the text. Now, if we send this behind, this is now going to work as a backlight. So now you can see if we add another light in. So let's go layer new light. And we change the color of this to maybe pink. We'll go for pink in this example. Press OK. Now you can see if we go into that option, transform, we'll move the position of this over to the left. We'll move it up as well to make this quite a tall light so that we get these nice shadows. And then if we pull this just off to the side here, so somewhere around here, you can see we're getting this dramatic harsh side lighting. So if we go back to one view, you can see we've got this pink light being cast along the front of the text. And then we've got this blue light as well. So if we go into the text there itself and we adjust the rotation, you can see how those lights in the scene are having an effect on that text layer. Now, at the moment, we're losing the right side of the text over here, and that is because there is a light here and there is a light here. We don't have a light on the right. So if we go back into layer new light and we create another light, so let's go for a basic white light. If we move the position of this light all the way over to the right, We'll send it back a little bit as well. So that it creates a bit of a backlight. And of course, we'll go into light options and we'll pull the intensity of the light down. So that it's just catching it a little bit like this. You can also change the color if you wanted to as well. So maybe go for a yellow or an orange or something other than white. You can see that is how this looks. 
So you can see by just adjusting these lights, there's loads of different variations that we can do. There's a lot that we can create using just simple, basic 3D text and creating some lights. Now, of course, you can do your same keyframe animation on your text as well. So you could maybe animate this to rotate around. So we'll start at negative 19, create a new keyframe on the rotation. Then we'll go across and rotate it to plus 22. And then we'll go into the camera. We'll go into position, brand new keyframe on position. And then we're just going to increase the position here. So we're now essentially zooming in on the text. You can see by using keyframe animation on the text there itself and on the camera, you can see we've created this nice zoom effect. So when we play this out, this is how this looks. And of course we could keyframe the lights as well. So maybe the lights could be swinging around in the space. So we'll go to position, brand new keyframe on position at the beginning. And then towards the end, we can move this over so that this changes the look of the actual animation. So let's have a look at that. The great thing is with using a camera as opposed to animating on the actual item itself is if you zoom in on an item, eventually that's going to get really pixelated and low quality, the bigger you increase it or the closer you zoom in on it. Whereas when you're using a camera, you've got the item, but the camera is moving around in the space. So in theory, you could get really close to this item. So as you can see, you can get really close in on that and it's still really good quality. And that's because you're not adjusting the clip, you're adjusting the position of the camera. 3D text is one of those things that when I first started experimenting with it in Adobe After Effects, it felt really complicated. But honestly, it's not actually that complicated. It's just a case of extruding the text and finding the correct extrusion depth, which is just the depth of the text. Then it's just a case of putting in some lights within the scene, changing the positions of the light, changing the colors, changing the animation. And then of course, adding a camera to create some nice camera movement. And once you've figured out all of those, you're on track to create some really nice 3D text animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So have a play with this. The best way to learn is to just practice as much as possible. So open up After Effects, have a play with 3D text, play with lights, cameras, all of these other techniques, and I promise you'll be making great 3D text in next to no time. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then please consider checking out some of my other After Effects tutorials, and hopefully I will see you in a future video. See you there.